Okay, so this is going to be their first goal and comes off a corner kick. One thing I want us to notice right away is this ball is going to get played short. And you have a player on your near post as this player, as our defender initially gets turned. You have a player on your near post that leaves the space and abandons the near post. Okay, so I think you're, first of all, I think, you know, those players that I'm circling, you know, kind of drift into space and especially leaving the near post. It's one thing if you have a player cutting back to the player, but you may have one, but not the near post guy unless you release him. So I think you're in a pretty good spot um, from a positional standpoint, um, but you can see the player on the near post is left wide open because of this. Um, I think positionally you're in a good spot here um, from where the ball is going to have to cut it back. You could be a, a shade more central but um certainly you're in a good spot as we let this go the ball is going to kind of be deflected and you know the player that gets on the end of it you have your free player at the six that has to defend but the player at the near post that left um that player wide open is could have helped in a number of ways and we'll kind of get to that now and and one of those ways is uh, as this ball comes up and down you know the striker is going to have to nod the ball and look at your positioning. So you get to that near post and lean on that near post. And I think that from this standpoint, the ball's up in the air and it's coming down. So it's not like driven. And so for him to nod this, like you can, you can still recover to your near post, but by shading yourself all the way to the near and not having a guy still on the near post to protect that space where you could hedge your bet and, and stay more central, um, that, that basically dooms us here for the first goal. And you can see, you know, your free player having to come to the wrong side. And now this ball is going to get knotted where probably you just pick the ball up uh, without having to dive. Because look, look how close you are. And, and if I don't think you release the near post player to go drift into no man's land. And so if you don't release this near near post player, then why is he leaving? And why are you getting all the even if you don't have a near post guy there, you don't need to be leaning with your body weight on the near post. So you can still recover. Look how high the ball comes up. You have plenty of time to just take a step and dive if he nods it to the near post, assuming there's not a near post man there. But look at your body shape. You get you get kind of buried behind, uh, you know, the player heading the ball and our defender, um, and and that basically allows that one inch of space that he needs to nod this by you. Right there, game of inches, right, and just that nuance of a player losing discipline costs us a goal. All right, so this is going to be their second goal. It's going to come off something pretty basic. I mean, we have um, all of our players behind the ball. It's a simple free kick. Um, one of our defenders is going to get dragged out of our back line and and only to open up space for a run in behind. That's the only reason. So you can see this player just darting behind. This player who's been dangerous uh, all game long, their small little 17, that left-footed player, um, usually plays on the attacking front line, drops off, drags our, one of our backs out, and, and allows, you know, the run, and the camera gives a terrible angle, but that run to get by. So this player gets dragged out. If we if they play in defeat here, and he just goes with them, and, and his back's the goal, and we're defending, we're fine. But there's no reason to sprint out here. And, and look at our shape, you know, because of that. And this is just... It's, it's a head scratcher all the way around from, from a team standpoint. But, um, but you know, you, you see one of your players leave. We got to be communicating for him not to go because this is what's more dangerous, the space in behind. So now, you know, I don't know what our recovery here is. Um, certainly this is a problem. Uh, we should be tucked in here, but um, this should never even gotten behind. But okay, um, so now... The player's going to get by. This is not cringeworthy. Um, the player's going to get by. And we have to understand, in, in these circumstances, we have to understand what a striker wants to do. Okay? Um, the picture is simple. 
All right. This player is wide open centrally, and this player on the ball is at a bad shooting angle. And it, it goes from bad um, you know, to worse by a step before he plays the ball. So I think we need to be set in a position where we can handle both. All right. I think we look at that last little jump to our near post. Okay, he doesn't want to shoot this ball. This is the ball he wants to play. The whole time. That's it. Now, I'm not saying we're going to be able to make the save here. But we always have to be thinking, no matter what the team does, how can we as goalkeepers improve? For me, we need to be a step higher and a step more central. And instead of bouncing to the near... And I understand not wanting to give up the near post here, but we're always leaning. Even now you're leaning, and then when the ball is struck, we're leaning. Boom. Okay? So if we just find our balance point and stay somewhat attached to the near, but ultimately knowing the situation and the angle, all right, we don't maybe jump back. All right. It's, it's nitpicky. I mean, this is a bad team goal all the way around. But we always need to be thinking, like I said, what can we as goalkeepers do to eliminate these types of actions? All right, so this is gonna be their third goal. Um, we're gonna turn the ball over here. And I'll just kind of let it play, but I want you to notice, keep in, keep in mind our, our, so our back line here, and then our midfielders. Just watch our midfielders, watch our back line as this play develops. So I'll pause it on a new picture. The ball is gonna be played negative, Okay, we have our back three. Um, we have a we have a midfielder holding. We have two midfielders, one applying pressure. Okay, our wide mid. Okay, is gonna go press the ball. No, we we'll just watch this unfold. Okay, so ball's gonna get played wide. Now we have our back line, our midfielder drifting. This midfielder going to press uh, this player. No idea why. Um, this player left wide open. This is something that we need to address. Our back line, are we getting pressure? Our midfielder, our, our six, are we providing that cover in front of our back line? Um, these two players just drift. Nobody's talking. All right. So we don't keep the game to the outside where it's predictable. And then this window is going to open up. No idea what's going on here. But this starts at the back. This starts with communication, understanding that we need somebody protecting our back line here. All right. It's too late when we do recognize it. Now we're in trouble. Okay. So what, what needs to happen is we need to communicate, drop in, leave, leave the guy wide. If there's a guy beyond our last defender here, doesn't matter. This is the most dangerous space. Okay we should be converging here. We're not worried about this guy. This guy's not gonna score goals. This guy is. We know he's left-footed. Okay, so he gains that little bit of space. I think you, you read it decently well and just get a fingertip to it and in. But it's the, it's the lead up from what happens in the midfield. All it takes is communication. Um, and understanding and not getting caught ball watching, right? We're just watching what's happening on the ball instead of doing two things at once, organizing, making sure our starting sp spots are good, but making sure our players are balanced, okay? Same thing. When this picture happens, our immediate look has to be this player in, in. Let the ball go wide, all right? We're protecting the goal, not wide of the goal. Too easy. If you get maybe like that pivot step forward a little bit, you know, just from a goalkeeper nitpicky standpoint, maybe you get a little bit more. See how long it takes you to transfer that weight. I think you know it's coming. You know left footy is probably going to get that ounce and, and bend it, but see how big that lead step is, and then it takes a long time to transfer weight. That's really nitpicky, Colin, but um, just, you know, what can we do to stop it? Okay, one, one trend that I'm starting to see, you know, as we play – Three at the back, um, you know, and, and uh, you know, one thing we need to understand is the angles of our 
quote unquote wide, you know, our our wide uh, defender here. Okay, so this this has been happening specifically to Riyadh throughout this game. Um, but it's once again, it starts with our communication. So we have a player um, playing inside of our of our two you know backs here and in into a more central channel, which is the angle that we need to take. So we need to communicate with with Riyadh here to uh, stay inside and force the game outside because I, this happens quite frequently as I watch more and more film. But you can see like. He he's only looking at the ball, and this player, this player's marking a player uh, wider. You can see checking his shoulder. Um, this we should be here in this space, denying anything centrally. Okay, and that starts with our communication. Um, we're not defending anything here, you know. And if we're playing with three at the back. This is a huge gap to give up. You know, we've got to defend the central part of the field. So this is just too easy. We're late. You know, and then the ball's going to get played in. On this entry, you know, we're set. Hand shape to receive this. I mean, you do well to get your body there, but if we turn our hands over, we can hold this. Um, to your credit though, you get up quick and you know, you do well here on the second ball as well, but you know, understanding, I think you end up with the ball in your hands here too, after a little bit, just let it play off a flick. Yeah. So you're just going to end up catching, but understanding, you know, how to, how to leverage our defenders. In, in these moments where, like, we just need to look up. What are we trying to defend? Pull Riyadh in. Pull our other defenders in. Protect the middle of the field. Let the ball go wide. Okay, so this is going to be sort of a, a breakaway from an angle. Um, we've been working on this and training quite a bit with some of our youngsters, so this is a good clip to take a look at and and sort of go through the process, but ball is going to be played down the line and then uh, immediately cut back in. Um, the biggest thing I want us to understand from an organizational standpoint is this is a this is a, one of our backs, and we already have immediate pressure on the ball, so the central space is always the always the danger zone. So our recovery line should be more central, and then if this player gets beat and it's clear, then we can always step out. But we want to try and eliminate this ball in by taking a, a different angle. And we can help that through communication. Um, so now, uh, now it becomes, you know, getting the wrong side of the player. Um, and, it, and so here's a couple factors. We, we talk about only leaving our goal if we can win the ball or we can alter the game. Some of the factors that come into mind are the player's touch. You know, is it tight to their body? Is it played through? Um, the distance, can we close ground? Only if we can alter the game or win it, but also defensive help. Um, so we have defensive help here. Sorry, the, the video gets a little grainy. Um, so once again, you know, this is a situation from a very poor angle where the only reason to, the, the consequence of leaving in this situation is a cutback ball that we can't recover to. Um, the ball is still tight to the player's body. Uh, and we have defensive help. So by going, you know, and we, we get defensive help here, but by going, we're leaving our goal and we have no chance to win the ball here. And we have defensive help. If you stay and the player is able to get a touch on it, then we're much better off. All right. The ball ends up falling to us, but, you know, that's through defending and nothing else. 